these homemade cinnamon rolls are so delicious. We love them for breakfast and even dessert. I've worked on this recipe for a while now. I think I finally perfected it, but you guys will have to try them and let me know. So in your stand mixer, take one cup of warm milk, one pack of instant dry yeast, a half a cup of sugar, two large eggs, and a third cup of softened butter. Mix that and then add in four cups of flour. Mix it until that flour is just barely combined. Stop your mixer and let it sit for a couple of minutes. Switch to your dough hook and let it knead your dough for five more minutes. Place this in a greased bowl, cover it, and let it rise until it has doubled in size. This usually takes one to two hours. Here's what your dough will look like. It should be tacky, but not sticky. Roll this out, and then you're going to make your filling, which is a half a cup of butter, one cup of brown sugar, and two tablespoons of cinnamon. I melted my butter a little bit too much here. Usually I like it to just be soft. Oftentimes I will double this filling recipe. It is my favorite part of the cinnamon roll, so the more the merrier in my opinion. Roll this up and then cut these into one to two inch slices. Place them in a greased baking dish and let them rise 30 more minutes. Cover them and you can stop here and place these in your fridge overnight. Or you can go ahead and bake them at 375 for 20 minutes. Frost these and then serve them while they are warm. They are best with a glass of milk in my opinion. You guys have to try these and let me know. Here's the recipe. Don't forget to screenshot.